Example two, find all of the angles that satisfy the given equation. So the first thing I want you to notice about number one is that it's positive. The reason that's important is that um, cosine is positive. My goodness, the lag is terrible. All students take calculus. Um, cosine is positive where they're all positive and in the fourth quadrant where cosine is positive. So that means we are going to focus on these two quadrants here and we're ignoring these two quadrants because cosine is not positive in those quadrants. Okay, so which angle in quadrant one is cosine one half? So this is where you really start to want to have your chart memorized because it just makes it so much faster and easier to remember these answers. So going backwards then from the chart, the cosine is one half when the angle is 60 degrees, correct? Uh, it doesn't hurt to on any of these. If it doesn't specify degrees or radians, just do both. Just get in that habit of interchangeably understanding that they are the same thing. So then quadrant four, we need the angles that are quadrant four, 60 degree reference angle. So that would be um, 360 minus 60, so 300 degrees. And then in quadrant four, that's, see, that's not quite two pi. So it wouldn't be two, six pi thirds, which is two pi. It would be up to that one. So five pi thirds, I think, is that 60 degree reference angle in quadrant four. Okay, so there we go. We found all of the angles. Now, we really didn't find all the angles. We just found the angles from 0 to 2 pi. We found the answers in one circle around. But if we're supposed to be finding all of the angles, then that is where we start to use K, which is the which allows us to account for all coterminal angles from negative infinity to positive infinity. So to find coterminal angles, remember we're either adding or subtracting 360 or we're adding or subtracting 2 pi. So to include that element, so like if we just focused on the pi thirds, it would be adding 2 pi k. So since k represents any integer, it could be positive or negative, so that could mean we're adding 2 pi, then adding it again and adding it again, or it could mean we're subtracting 2 pi if k was a negative number. Subtracting it again, subtracting it again, that just gives us all of the coterminal possibilities. Or if we wanted to do that with degrees, it would be 360 k. Doesn't matter if k is positive or negative, so that takes us from negative infinity to positive infinity. So that would be for all angles, that's what that would look like. If they don't want you to give all angles, then they would say, um, they would say find the all the angles from zero to two pi. And usually they would like say include zero, but don't include two pi. So in other words, if the answer is at zero, you do zero instead of two pi. That's typically what they would have you do. If you're doing all of the angles, then you would use k. If you're not doing, if you're doing all of the angles from 0 to 2 pi, then you wouldn't worry about the k, and the answers would just be 60 and 300, or pi thirds and 5 pi thirds. I don't know if that made sense or not. Lots of little details there to keep in mind. Okay, let's look at number 2. Sine is negative 1 half. I feel like I need to make this a little smaller and get out of the way. So we have room. Shrink it a little. It'll let me select it. Maybe it won't. I wonder what is really causing this to lag so badly, because it was fine at first. Okay, question two. So let's figure out what quadrants that would be in. So sine is negative, so all students take calculus. That would mean that we're focusing on quadrants 3 and 4 is where sine would be negative. 
So then where does sine equal one half? Let's just think about where sine is one half. That would be at 30 degrees, right? But that's not actually going to be our answer because that's a quadrant one answer, even if it's the right reference angle answer for sine to be one half. So now we need to take that to quadrant four and to quadrant three. So that would be, let's see, 210 degrees plus 360K. And then quadrant four would be like 330 degrees plus 360K. And that would give us all possible angles, not just the ones from zero to two pi. If we wanna do those in radians, it would be Let's see, um, it's a pi 6 reference angle, so that would be 7 pi 6, because that's more than pi, just barely. And then um, for the other one, we would do 11 pi 6. B. So question three, cosine is zero. I'll sketch what that would look like. So cosine is zero when x is zero. So x is zero on the y-axis. So that would either be here at pi halves or down here at three pi halves. Those are the two places where cosine would equal zero. Now, because it's those two locations and those two are like only 180 degrees apart, so like to get from here to here would be adding pi, Instead of saying add two pi to get our coterminal angles, we could get away with just starting at pi halves and add pi. So our answer could literally be pi halves plus pi times k. And that would be our answer because adding pi to pi halves would give us three pi halves and then it would give us um, add pi again, four, wait, four, no, five pi halves and then seven pi halves. And so this would just give us everything we need without it being the two pi. Um, another way to do that would be in degrees. We could say 90 degrees. And instead of using 360, we could just use 180K. And that would take us to 90, then 270, etc. So that, those are those answers for the all angles from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, if you had written it this way, like pi halves plus 2 pi k and then 2 no wait 3 pi halves plus 2 pi k it's not wrong it's just that it's not necessary and it's a lot longer than just writing it this way with the pi k instead simply because it's just a shorter way to do it. Okay, I'm not going to reiterate that in degrees. Let's just go on to our next set of examples, secant. Okay, so this is where we have to go ahead and change. Secant goes with cosine, so cosine would be one half. <laughs> Guess what that means? That means our answer is right there. Same as above. I'm not going to even worry about doing the problem because we already did it. There it is. And if you wanted to write it out, I guess you could. So pi thirds plus 2 pi k and then 5 pi thirds plus 2 pi k. Or if you want it in degrees, 60 plus 360 k. Um, the other one was 300. Oh, I forgot the K. Okay. Number two then. Oops. Number two, tangent is square root of three. Okay. Let's go ahead and just put that in a triangle really fast. So all students take calculus. Tangent is positive here and here. And again, those two quadrants are just a distance of pi away from each other, just like we saw in question three. 
with those quadrantal angles, but that always happens with tangent, that they're just like pi apart. So for our coterminal angles, we don't have to list quadrant 1 plus 2, k, 2 pi k, and then quadrant 3 plus 2 pi k. We can actually just do quadrant 1 and then just do pi k. And that will go to here, and back to here, and back to here, and back to here for infinity, right? So let's think about which value tangent is square root of 3. My brain doesn't want to function doing that right now. So let's just find it on our chart. It looks like it's 60 degrees or pi thirds. So that would be 60 degrees plus 180k or um, pi thirds plus pi k. So that's number two. All right, last we have cotangent. So if the cotangent is negative one, guess what? The tangent is also negative one. So it doesn't matter whether we think through it as being tangent or being cotangent because the reciprocal of negative one is negative one. Okay, so let's look at what quadrants tangent is negative in. Tangent would be negative in quadrant two and quadrant four. So then let's look at our chart really fast. Tangent is 1 at 45 degrees. So that means tangent is negative 1 at 135. And then at the fourth quadrant um, angle with the 45 degree reference angle. Okay. So I would do the 135 degrees plus... 360 K. Okay. Nope, messed that up. I just got done saying they're only like two quadrants apart and it just keeps going back and forth just like it did in question two. So instead of that, we can just do 180 K and be done with it. And we don't even have to list the quadrant four angle, which would be what, 315 degrees? Or we can do the um, radians. So that would be three pi fourths. plus pi k. So that would take it over to 7 pi fourths and then give us our infinite answers. Okay, that's it.